Hi, and welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. Today we're going to paint a wine rack. And we're going to do this in a crusty, rusty, um, old world kind of feel. Um, and so we'll go and I will tell you each step of the way what I'm going to be doing. So right now what I'm doing is putting a base layer down. I'm using DIY clay base paint. I'm using fire starter and carnival red. And this is not a perfect coat. This is just a really quick base coat. I'm using both colors. And so what I'm ending up with is a multitude of colors because I will have some fire starter. I will have some carnival red and I'll have a mixture of the two. And so we're just gonna throw some on here and call it good. I have decided to open a store in a vendor's mall and the reason that I have decided to do this is because I am learning to sell online and I felt that having a place where people could come and touch and feel and see for themselves what I do would be helpful. Um, at least to those in the area that uh, my vendor mall will be. Um, and so I'm going to open a shop, Debbie's Rusty Brush, in Boise's Best Marketplace. Uh, that is three hours away. <laughs> so it's going to be quite a commute to get there. And um, I'm All right, so now what I'm doing is using DIY paint in Old 57, and I'm just smearing it on with a putty knife. Um, there again, not perfect. I want the broken lines. Um, I want the red and the orange to show through. This is just the second layer, so we will continue on. As you can see, I missed a spot over there with the orange and the red base coat, um, which I will go back and get here shortly. But um, remember to double check on each step that you have each area completed with the colors that you are putting on. The reason that I decided to open this is because um, I've always been crafty and I for years just uh, didn't have time to indulge in my hobby the way that I would like to, my hobbies, because I have several. Um, and so I would buckle down around Christmas time or around uh, times when I needed to give people gifts and I would make those gifts. And um, that's what I've done for years and I really enjoyed it. And now that my daughter is grown and um, our business is, um, we're kind of semi-retiring from our business, um, I have more time to do the things that make me happy. So that has been what I've been doing and I'm learning to sell online and I'm learning to market and do all of that th those things which is not easy for somebody who is just learning how to do all of this online stuff. Okay so this is our third coat. I went through with Queen Bee and did a coat of that and now I'm doing Fancy Farm Girl and there is no right or wrong to this. There is uh, just going through and making sure that you get each surface with some of each of the color. Um, this is the ugly stage but I promise that it gets ooey gooey good and textured.
So we're opening September 1st in Boise's Best Marketplace. Um, now Boise is three hours away from me, so that is going to be quite a commute and a commitment to go twice a month to restock my booth, which is okay because I also have to source items while I'm down there because I will have my stuff in there, but I will also have um, smalls. And so my smalls will be things that I can make and upcycle, things that I can buy and give a facelift to to make them unique and one of a kind, um, like the wine rack that we're doing today, and things that I'm hoping people will just like. And that part is going to be a learning curve for me. Okay, so here we are doing our fifth layer onto this piece. What we're doing is exactly what we did on our first layer. We're just going to go through, we're going to slap on um, our fifth coat, which will be our final coat. Uh, other than our sealer, I'm just using the Carnival Red and the fire starter again um, so we will have areas that are orange areas that are red and areas that are a mixture of the two and we just want to make sure that it is completely covered and then we're going to let it dry So when I say that part's going to be a learning curve for me, it's because I have never done anything like this. Oh, I shop. I shop online. I go to thrift stores. I go to other stores. And I get things that I like. And I'm hoping that the things that I like, other people will like. And so that is where I'm starting with my thrifting. Now this is in a vintage mall. And so um, I'm learning about what is vintage. And um, so I'm picking up some things uh, like dishes, some bowls. Um, I have a lot of kerosene lanterns. I love kerosene lanterns because they're not only beautiful, but they're functional. And they come in really handy when the lights go out. Um, and we have issues so you can still see. So I love kerosene lanterns. So I have been sourcing and picking up a lot of those at estate sales and yard sales, um, wherever I can find them. So I will have those in there. Um, I do do etched glass, so I'll have my etched glass in there. I'm going to build um, some blanket ladders and some folding tables that are more of an industrial uh, country feel that are going to be. Okay, and now we're just going to sand back. We're going to sand back to some of the natural wood and to some of the different layers that we put on um, to give it just that old world uh, layered paint look. Um, I am doing this by hand with 220 grit, grit sandpaper. If it was any bigger, I'd use my palm sander, but I like the control that I get by doing it by hand. So we're just going to continue to do this to the entire piece and bring back all of the beautiful layers that we laid down. I'm doing the smalls that I can upcycle and paint and um, make unique so that when I do source at thrift stores, if they aren't vintage, um, I can go through and 
uh, give them a facelift, make them one of a kind, something that you're not going to go to Target or Walmart and, and buy, something that will be unique to the person's home. And that is what I really enjoy doing. So uh, along with my etched glass and my canvas art and my furniture um, and furniture art, I will be adding in and learning the business of vintage and doing smalls. Okay, so here is our final step. I am using Minwax uh, One Coat Poly Acrylic. And as you can tell, as I put this on here, it brings back the brightness and the luster of those paint colors. I decided to go with the polyacrylic because this is wine rack and it's going to get a lot of use and I want it to stand up to that use. If you don't want the bright colors, if you wanted it to be a little bit more muted, you could put a dark wash over it or you could use wax and you could use a dark uh, brown wax or a black wax that would also age and mute those colors. Um, but like I said, I want the brightness to this piece so I am just going to use the polyacrylic uh, as my sealer on this piece. Okay, so that is my story and that is the reason why I'm going to open a vendor's booth. Um, really hectic around here at the moment because we're trying to get everything ready. My booth space is in an area that has not been used as booths. They do want to open it up. Um, they do have a year-round Christmas display there and they have um, commission or consignment furniture that they keep in that area. So, and it's right, it's all open. So it's right there. Um, so I think that it will be good, but there are no walls. So I'm also having to build my display booth as well as um, get everything ready to fill a 10 by 10 space. So it's been really hectic, but a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also, um, I go live a couple times a week over on my Facebook page at Debbie's Rusty Brush. So if you want to hop over there and check those out, that would be wonderful. I'm also at Instagram um, at Debbie underscore Rusty underscore Brush. Um, and so check me out there as well. All right. Thank you. And you guys have a great week.